Uh, we need this to do a little bit more something something. We need to curve around the neck, not just... <laughs> you remember flip phones? I remember flip phones. I remember the Moto Mo Motorola Razor. I loved it because it reminded me of the uh, the communicator from Star Trek. It's obvious that that's what it was trying to be just like. A little better. A wee bit better. This, this is called spotting blacks. That's what you call it. When you make the whole area black. And now we're going to patch into the light. Bring the dark side into the light. like the part when they teleport in Star Trek. Don't get me started on Star Trek. This is a Star Trek house. I got my wife hooked on Star Trek. Now she's more into Star Trek than I am. All I wanted to do was introduce a new show to her. It's all my fault that my my family is a bunch of nerds. The first time I introduced Star Wars to my daughter, she was I think she was five years old. And I said it was a, I told it as a princess story. Once upon a time, there was a princess on a big ship running away from the Black Knight. And on the ship, there was, uh, I forget what I called the droids. I think I called, I called him a, a waiter and a knight in shiny armor and a waiter or something. A very brave, a very brave knight and a very scaredy cat waiter. The scaredy cat waiter said, we're doomed. <laughs> this is madness. It's already been made a book. It's called Star Wars. Alright, uh, hmm. 
Am I having second thoughts about that neck muscle? Maybe, possibly. Besides, I'm already making a book. I'm already got my hands full making a book. This book, right now. I didn't know how long this would take. This is taking ex much longer than I expected. I started this, started writing this in 2020. That was three years ago, people. For those of you who are not keeping count, I'm here to tell you, it's been three years ago, and I'm on page 20 right now. If only I didn't have to work a full-time job. It's all that working that gets in the way of my art. Uh, so my plan, instead of putting it in stores, is it's going to be available on Webtoon. And uh, I'm going to be... So I'm taking a page out of the book of the Bible Project. So the Bible Project creates uh, animated videos, and they... Uh, they make the videos for free. They make them available for free because they want people to know the, the information that they are putting out there to the public. Uh, but they ask for donors uh, via crowdfunding. They get people to crowdfund in order to uh, pay for the actual creation of the video. So that's my plan, but I'm not going to do that until 